Yo, Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays for those of you who celebrate something different. We got, how lucky are we? How lucky are we this, this Christmas? Not only do you have, for those of you basketball enthusiasts that hang out on the channel for Eric and other people's picks, how lucky are we? You got our NBA Christmas Day stuff. You've got three Christmas Day games, all right? You had Saturday football, Christmas Eve football, Thursday football, we had football, NFL football, four or five days and uh, Christmas basketball. Life can't get any better. Actually, it can. We can win. We can win. I'm recording this on Wednesday, though, so keep that in mind, right? I want to get all this stuff out to you guys early. So if you're watching this early, remember, Saturday picks video, Sunday picks video. If it's before that, those are out. Other than that, let's get into it. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. Give me your favorite picks for these games on Christmas Day. And of course, anything that I don't have on the channel, I will throw into Twitter or into our Discord or our expert picks page over at Odd Shopper. I'm on Twitter at Lafay underscore D, L O U G H Y underscore D. Let's get it going. First up, we got Raiders and Chiefs. And by the way, guys, the spreads uh, on this Christmas Day slate are 10, 12, and five and a half. Okay, 10, 12, and five and a half. Raiders 10 point dogs against the Chiefs. I'll tell you what, I. We were on the Chiefs last week against the Patriots. It was a big spread on the road. Kind of said, who cares, right? Our, our thought process was Chiefs offense may be stagnant right now, but this defense is good enough against that, that, that pitiful Patriots offense to make this where they don't need to score a ton to cover the nine and a half, right? Even if you got it at 10, they didn't need to do a ton. They just needed to hold the Patriots to a low total, which is exactly what they did. We had a good read on that. Other games, maybe not so much, but uh, forget about that. In a spot like this, now the Raiders are coming off an insane win against the Chargers. Well, 63-21, just ridiculous, okay? But at the same time, Antonio Pierce has done a phenomenal job with this team after they got rid of Josh McDaniels. Antonio Pierce has done a fantastic job with this football team. Does that mean they come out here and win? I'm not saying that. They're 10-point dogs. Do I think they can cover? Yeah. Patrick Mahomes at home, historically, as a big favorite, has doesn't have the greatest record of covering these games. And, you know, while we still have a bunch of, uh, you know, like last week they covered a bigger number on the road, and sure, the Raiders aren't that great. It's still Aiden O'Connell. They do still have some weapons on offense, right? Like there's still some weapons that are going to be trotted out there for the L.A. Raiders that aren't all that bad. And, and may I add one more thing to the equation? The Raiders aren't technically eliminated from playoff contention yet. Does it mean that they're going to make it? No, it's very unlikely that they do. But they're six and eight. So in their heads, in their minds, with you know an interim head coach that has got these guys rallying around him, six and eight is not out of it. You've got the Broncos at seven and seven. You've got the Bills at eight and six. You've got uh, the Bengals at eight and six. Uh, Colts and Texans at eight and six without C.J. Stroud likely this week. A lot of things can go wrong for a lot of teams. Until they're officially eliminated, the Raiders are going to play. I also think the struggles for the Kansas City Chiefs are enough. They are just they're enough for me to say I don't know if I want to lay 10 points on them in a divisional spot against the Raiders. Give me the Raiders plus 10 on the road on Christmas Day, baby. Speaking of Christmas Day, right? Can you guys do yourself a favor? Treat yourselves to a little bit of a little, little Christmas joy. You see that down there? Bet 365. You get $150 in bonus bets when you bet $5. Lit, that's all it is. That's all it is. They got the link in the description and in the pinned comment. Threw that down there for you guys. You click the link. You sign up. It takes two minutes. Deposit 10 bucks. Only have to bet five of that. You could lose your bet. You could lose a. a you could lose that Raiders game. Say you put $5 on a Raiders or same game parlay. You could put it on the Raiders plus 10 and they lose by 100 doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you've got $150 in bonus bets to fall back on. Turn a potentially bad day into a really good Christmas by snagging $150 in bonus bets for doing nothing but betting $5. Here's the caveat. You got to be in Colorado, New Jersey, Virginia, Ohio, Iowa, Kentucky, or Louisiana. If you're in one of those seven states this Christmas, take your $150 bonus dollars in bonus bets on a $5 bet and run with that. Got to be 21 years or older to gamble. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, call your text 1-800-GAMBLER. And Merry Christmas to you guys. Let's talk the, the New York Giants against the Philadelphia Eagles. 
43 point total Eagles, 12 point favorites. I can't believe I'm doing this. Jacob, I cannot believe I'm doing this. I, I, I can't believe I'm taking the Eagles have had the giants number forever. I can't believe I'm taking the giants plus 12 plus 12. Jacob. How let me I, 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 unmute your mic. Talk, how do we write? Like, how do you lay 12 on the Eagles right now with the, the with the play calling, with the way Jalen Jalen Hurts has to be hurt, whether he was sick or not. Like, like, has to be hurt. Throwing balls in the triple coverage when Kenny Gainwell's wide open. James Bradbury is a shell of his old self. They allowed a 92 yard drive to Drew Locke with a minute and 20 minutes seconds. I, I get that week over week things change. There is parity in the NFL. I understand all of that, but the Eagles seem like a broken team right now, man. I don't want to sound like David Carr, but should Marcus Mariota play in this game? I, I'm not. <laughs> like, for the health of Jalen Hurts, the dude is hurt. He has to be, right? Just like, this game doesn't matter. And you know the Giants, oh. this is a huge game for them. DeVito's coming off a loss. He's like, the team's going to want to rally around him, which is crazy to say that, but it's true. I, I There's no way you back the Eagles. Here. It's impossible. I Right? I have no faith in Tommy DeVito. But you know what I do have faith in? that the Eagles can win this game, but just not be able to score enough points to cover 12. That's what it comes down to for me. Like, ha is it possible? Yeah, maybe, you know what? Maybe they channel some of that magic from earlier in the season. It's entirely possible. The Seahawks were fighting for their playoff hopes at home last game. They faced Dallas and Dallas, the Eagles. They faced the San Francisco 49ers who cut through them like butter. Earlier than that, though, they've been playing well. But Hurts doesn't look right. The play calling has been terrible. Can they go out there and drop 30-plus again? Maybe, but the offense has looked so bad. So bad. So they could win this game, but covering by 12 is tough, man. It's going to be really, really tough. Tell me what you think in the comments, guys. Hit me up on Twitter. Like I said, Lafayette underscore D. J uh, Jacob can throw my handle up there on the screen. T tell me what you think. Like, am I crazy here for not laying 12 on the Eagles? Or am I on the right side? We're going to find out. Let me know. And hey, by the way, guys, it's Christmas Day football. We want to give back to you guys. You've supported the channel. You've subscribed. You've helped us become as big as we are. Well, what we're doing, 33% off everything at Odd Shopper. All of our plus EV bets, all of our tools, Parlay Builder, and everything else. Expert picks on top of the premium Discord where there's a community that you're going to fall in love with. All of that is 33% off. Tomorrow is the last day to do it. So Tuesday would be the last day to do this. It's $1.40 a day if you do it for the week. If you get in on a month, you're getting it for $1 a dollar a day. And you've got Christmas football or basketball. You've got Christmas football, all of that, and so many other sports. 33% off. Just use the promo code GIFT at checkout when you use the link in the description or in the pinned comment. Let's wrap it up with the Ravens and the Niners. Ravens, five and a half point dogs against the Niners, 46 and a half point total. Do you guys know Lamar Jackson is 18 and one for his career against NFC teams? That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. And I know that everybody is going to love the Niners. Like, I might wait to bet this, depending on when you're watching this. This could be a different line by the time you're watching this. I think it's possible this moves to six. Man, is there anyone in the world right now that doesn't think the Super, the Super Bowl favorites should be the San Francisco 49ers? Or that the Super Bowl and the or the, 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 the road to the Super Bowl runs through San Francisco in the NFC? Is there anyone out there? I think it does. I think it does. But again, and I mentioned this on our Sunday video. A spread is taking a game that may be lopsided and it's leveling the playing field, right? I'm not saying Baltimore Ravens money line. I am saying Baltimore Ravens plus five and a half. And if you're watching this and it's moved to six, even better. I think the Baltimore Ravens, look, they're a really good team, okay? Assuming they're healthy on both sides of the field this week, they're still a really good team. And as good as the San Francisco 49ers are, are they going to crush every single team every single week no, I just said it. There's a lot of parity in football. Big game for the Baltimore Ravens. Can we, let's not forget, while one team is, what, 12-3, and three, the other is 11-4 and four and set to get the first round by in the AFC in a very difficult AFC conference. Five and a half points. It's a good amount of points for the Baltimore Ravens to be getting, even though it's on the road. This caps off Week 16 on Christmas Day, Monday Night Football, 
Give me the Ravens plus five and a half. Let's go, baby. Appreciate you guys hanging out as always. Listen, hopefully you come join our Discord. Check out Odd Shopper. Uh, there's ways to get two free months right now. I can throw them in the description. Two free months of everything. The Discord, all of our expert picks, and the Plus EV tool. Literally, like we scan the market down to the second every day. Just giving you all of the positive expected value picks on every sport. Pretty sweet. Two free months. Way to do that. Click the description and take advantage of the five and the 150. And if you're in those states at Bet365. Guys, have a great Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Stay safe out there. And we'll see you back here for week 17. Peace.